Holy Communion. So, right from the beginning of this service, we prepare our hearts, our mind, our bodies, revive our spirit, revive the soul automatically. So, also remember one important thing that we have to know that this fellowship of the Holy Communion is a must in the believer's life. And therefore, whenever we come to partake in the Holy Communion, the Bible clearly says, according to 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 23 and 24, both the sides, both the places, remember what Jesus has done for us. Because Jesus himself said, remember me. Which is broken for you, this do ye in remembrance of me, he said. After the same manner, also he took the cup when he had stopped the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as you drink it in again in so we remember Jesus Christ every moment of our life. Let's all bow down for the opening prayer. So also pray that we shall have new souls. Pray that the Lord shall be remembered in my life and our lives. Pray that we shall remember so well that every moment of my life and our life we shall be able to correct our Correct our character, correct our ways, correct our talk, eyes, this body which is so weak vessel. And uh, do everything according to the love that Jesus has showed us on the cross of Calvary. And so also God the Father who loved the entire world and gave us begotten, His begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, through whom, in whom we have this salvation. Father, we thank you. You have given us this grace, this mercy. Thank you, Lord, for this hall. Thank you, Lord, for the facilities. And Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus as we break this bread today and drink the cup of the Lord, you strengthen every home. Every one of them shall be blessed, be healed, be delivered. Blessings of God shall restore upon everyone, especially the children of the house shall be great and mighty and powerfully blessed. Everyone shall be victorious and successful. And Lord Jesus, your grace and mercy shall continue upon every home. 
blessing the father and the mother husband and wife sons and daughters daughters and sons and we pray lord every one shall have jobs every one shall have prosperity every one shall have good health every one shall receive the grace and the mercy and the blessings of god tonight lord we welcome you you're already here but still we say lord come be with us god us and guide us let this worship worship reach unto heaven may the almighty god the father so also Son Jesus Christ our Lord, by the worship, through the Holy Spirit of God, be glorified. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ our Lord, we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's shout one more time. Victim in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, Elam family, let's sing. God is great and His praise is filled the earth. God is great. His praise fills the earth, fills the heavens, and your name will be praised to all the world. God is great, sing His praise, all the earth and all the heavens, cause we're living for the glory of your name, the glory of your Sing together, all creation cries, all creation cries to you.
Hallelujah. There's a lot of unrest, a lot of disturbance in the world. But in Jesus, He's the Prince of Peace and we will have peace. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's sing. We want to see Jesus lifted high. Amen. Savior, the one who came down to this earth, died for us, shedding the blood on the cross, redeeming us from the sin and curse of the law, so also giving us the new life through the water baptism. And we pray the Spirit of God that is in us shall always glorify the living King of Kings and the Lord of all, Jesus Christ our Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Sing. You live, sing. You die. You say. You would rise, you did it, you're alive. Sing you rule, you rule, you reign, you said you're coming back again. Oh, yeah. I know you will sing all the others, sing your praises. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Lord. All the others, sing your 
Sing your name.